We're now in the Grand Teton National Park. We're gonna see if we can find some bison, elk, moose. It's really cold, it's really snowy, but I'm loving it. As you can see, Kat tried to do this twice. <laughs> Literally just over there is the centre of town and right here we've got trumpeter swans. The trumpeter swans are actually the largest extant species of waterfowl with a huge wingspan. Jackson really is an epicentre of wildlife watching in the area. I'm just going to go and try and get a bit closer to this bull. No, it's not a bull, it's a cow. It's a moose. Oh, it's a, it's a girl moose. <laughs> <laughs> We don't want to get any closer because we don't want to kind of change her behaviour. The winters here are really tough and if we're making her expel energy by running away from us or getting aggravated then you know that's calories that she's using that she should be conserving to get her through the winter. So we're going to stay back and get some shots from here. Yeah, it's cool to see my first moose. We've just seen four moose by the river. We're going to go and film them. The local people around here call the moose swamp donkeys for kind of obvious reasons. They tend to hang around swampy type areas. And you can see here, they're just feeding on the red willow and the golden willow. Of all the megafauna in the area, moose are actually declining in numbers the most and that's because they have a winter tick which erodes away some of their fur and a lot of them are dying of exposure in this freezing, freezing temperature. good day. So a lot more wildlife on our first day here than I expected to. We've seen pretty much everything apart from some cats. So I'm hoping that maybe when we go to Yellowstone we might see some bobcats. There's not a much more beautiful scene than mountains at sunrise. In my next video I travel to Yellowstone National Park where I see coyotes up close, plenty of bison and the old faithful geezer explode. Click on the screen or the link in the description below to watch it.